this manure is doing a really important thing. I can see at least four different species of flies on here. You can see there's that brown one down at the bottom. Uh, let me see. Oh, and the dogs are coming. Oh, there was a brown fly, bigger flies, baby flies, gnats, midges, everything. That's all bird food. This is a fresh pile of manure. So the first people coming to feed are a whole variety of different flies. Inca's protecting <laughs> the pile of manure from the flies. Inca, can you can you go away? Can you go away? Thank you. After the flies have been here, the dung beetles are very soon to follow. So they will be here as well. But there's a good variety of flies there. And this is swallow food, bird food, all those kind of things. So <clears throat> we go over to a little bit more old, a bit of manure, and we open it up. And there's loads of, let's see, there's still some flies. Oh dear. Oh. There's no dung beetles yet. I'm sure there are dung beetles in there. Actually, there are. There's tracks where the dung beetles have been. So, and there's there's a tiny larvae character there. Do you see that white thing there? It's moving. But then we come to an older again bit of dung, and there's there's some worms. All bird food. So, yeah, bird food. I create loads of bird food with my animals. I now have to wash my shitty fingers. But horse shit's very clean shit. It's not like omnivore shit, which is stinky shit. Isn't that right? She's protecting my jacket. Isn't that right? I've just finished shifting the fencing for the horses. Hey, Mustard, how are you, kitty? And I'm walking back to get the horses to come into this fat field. And I'm discovering all these chicken's eggs. These are my chicken's eggs. And what's happening is corvids are picking them up in the hen house. See, they're fresh. And they love the shells. So the corvids bring them out here to the field and drop them from a height so they break open and then go down and eat them. So look here's another egg. Look at that. Oh wait I'm gonna trip on you if you keep running under my feet. Here's another one. How are you Ishka? You beautiful girl. Yeah no that's your I know my hand smells a little bit of your manure. You're such a beautiful girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my coat's on the ground. I know my coat's on the ground. I'll go pick it up. The dogs are liking eating the eggshells. Good crunchy calcium for them. Isn't that right, beautiful girl? You're my dung beetle feeders. Ooh, she's worried about my blue jean jacket. <laughs> she's like, what is that strange thing on the ground? If I just do this. Nope, that's not gonna work. I bounced my knees. Sometimes that spooks a horse, but she's fine. Okay. Anyway, that's the corvids eating my eggs bringing them over here. Pick up my blue jean jacket. Aww. Grasshopper, don't chase mustard. He doesn't need to be chased. That's an unnecessary playtime tease. Isn't that right, kitty? And you beautiful kitty. Bird food. Look at that. That'll feed a bird beautifully. 
But what's really cool is what's underneath. This is an anthill. And you can see the fresh soil that the ants have dug up. So that ant hill is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And what's lovely is the cherries are going to be ripening very soon. You can have lots of delicious cherries. As long as the birds don't eat them before they get ripe. That's one of the problems. Now, one of the most beautiful insects we have on the farm that is just hatching out now is this. Look at that emerald green. Isn't that so beautiful? Look at that. Gorgeous. They're all hatching out now. So beautiful.
He's probably going to jump on my shoulders. Are you going to jump on my shoulders? Are you going to jump on my shoulders? Hmm? Are you going to jump on my shoulders? You're not going to jump on my shoulders? Or are you going to jump on my shoulders? There, is that close enough for you? He's worried because there's a sheep right there, <laughs> scratching its head. It's nearly time for weaning. The yos are going to be so glad when weaning time comes. <laughs> 